How you doing, Miss Tannehill? You put Ryan on the phone? Ryan, your dumbass don't know how to answer the phone? Been trying to talk to you for three hours. Your dumbass can't answer the phone. Anyways, 118 million? How different are you built? Damn, son. Man, I've been thinking about what car you gonna get me too. I gotta get out this Kia. Thinking lime green, a Ventador, drop top with gold custom bri What you mean you're not buying me a car? I was talking to Tom. Yeah, I was talking to Tom just in case. Now, we, now listen, everybody knows everybody. We know the system. Next year, Super Bowl or bust? Absolutely. Absolutely. Man, that's crazy. 118 million. Man, you went from sorry ass Dolphins. He wasn't doing shit with them either. That's crazy. Ryan Tannehill's coming back to the Tennessee Titans on a four year, $118 million deal, folks. Let's talk about exactly that. And also, Delaney Walker and Ryan Suckup have been released by the Titans. And we're going to see exactly what happens with the Tom Brady situation as the Titans are pretty much ruled right 100% uh, or 99% out of the equation. Stay right here. The Tom Brady rumors have been entertained, they've been fiddled with, and they've been toyed with. But if there's one thing that we pretty much know, there is a 99% chance that he will not be a Tennessee Titan. I thought that if he was going to leave New England, it would have been the best place for him to be. With the Titans committing to Ryan Tannehill on a four-year deal, not a one-year deal, a four-year deal worth over $100 million, it is most certainly set in stone that Ryan Tannehill will be their franchise quarterback going forward. Now, I don't know how I feel about that. I know I like Ryan Tannehill, but I don't know how I feel because in all reality, it was 10 games. Tom Brady's getting older, and that's probably one of the things that factored into the decision to re-sign Tannehill, is they figured that, well, even if Brady does come, he might only be here for a year or two. But again, at the same time, even if he's there for a year or two, if he brings you a Super Bowl, it makes it all worth it. The Titans like what they saw from Ryan Tannehill. His chemistry with the offense, his chemistry with Derrick Henry, and his chemistry with the coach. So in a way, I can understand this. I don't think I would have given him four years, $118 million, because that is a lot off of 10 games to put on to somebody. But it pretty much establishes the fact that Tom Brady will not be a Titan. Now to get off of topic for a minute, Tom Brady is now entertaining two rumors, or at least rumored. Now there's always a dark horse on the outside that is looking to steal him. And we could see Tom Brady end up on the friggin' Raiders, even though that was a rumored spot. The idea now is... We will see him in either a Buccaneer uniform or he will stay put on the New England Patriots. Now, for me, I think he's going to stay put because at this rate, I thought the only realistic places for him to go, even though I would have never went there, was the Chargers and the Titans. I thought the Titans was the best fit, not just because I'm a fan, but because of the running back there, which takes the pressure off of him the young wide receivers that could learn so much from him, his connection with Vrabel already, and how much the Titans have shown just under what they could do, especially on offense, and already having a good defense. So now let's assume that he left. The idea is Tampa. Tampa has fantastic receivers. Chris Godwin is great. Uh, Mike Evans is fantastic. But that would mean that you have to bench Jameis Winston. And I don't think anybody would hesitate to bench Jameis Winston for pretty much any quarterback because Jameis Winston, to me, is not that great of a quarterback. I don't think he's the worst quarterback in football. But a lot of people will sit here and tell you that passing yards is everything. It's a good attri uh, attribute. But again, his receivers make him look better than he is. There's no quarterback that I've seen with 30 interceptions that was labeled as a good quarterback, okay? And these are not interceptions where they get tipped off. If you look at these interceptions, they are blatant thrown to the wrong receiver. It was also sacked 50 times. Now that could mean, yes, your line's not good, but you should have some mobility, okay? I don't know the last time I saw a quarterback got sacked 50 times, okay? So Tom Brady potentially going to Tampa Bay would be good for them, but I don't think that it would be his best option. And again, I don't know him. I don't know what he would want, but I think that his best option would have been the Titans because it's all there for him. A great running back, young wide receivers, a connection with the coach, and a good defense, which means you won't have to put up 40 points a game to win if you're going to Tampa Bay you're going to get a lot of stats you're going to get a lot of offense but the defense will have to bucker down and I don't think Tampa Bay is an awful position for Tom Brady to go but I think at this point his best option is to stay put in New England um, now I know New England again they're going to have to try to develop more talent um, I would still see them being good next season I don't know if I see them winning the AFC East 
uh, because I think the Buffalo Bills, if they get any better, um, it will come down to maybe the last week of the season between the Bills and the Patriots and the Jets again. And we're hope we don't know what's going to go on with the Jets. But to stay with the Titans, so we know how Ryan Tannehill is getting all this money and he's going to continue what he did. I can't be disappointed because we win regardless. We as in the Titans fans, we win regardless because if Ryan Tannehill stays, which he's doing, we have a system that's already set that we know can succeed. And now we have all off, a whole offseason to prepare for the next season. Maybe add some new additions, bolster places that need to be bolstered. And the team should hopefully only get better from this point on. So, or we would have gotten Tom Brady, and Tom Brady speaks for himself. But I think the Titans did the right thing. I know it was hard, and I know a lot of people say, well, when will you have a chance to get somebody like Tom Brady again? You won't. Um, this is now or never, because... Tom Brady is heavily entertaining the rumors, um, but I think at this point it makes sense for him to just stay in New England. Uh, I don't think it would make sense for him to go to Tampa Bay and then be, you know, 10-6 and six and lose in the first round of, of the wild card and then say, well, yeah, I played X amount of seasons with the Patriots, but then I played one season with Tampa Bay. It just doesn't make sense. Again, it's a, some of it is money. A lot of players do that. Uh, I know it wasn't his choice, but Brodeur did that with the Devils. Brodeur left the Devils after playing X amount of seasons and went to go play with the Blues and did absolutely nothing. Um, and we know Brady will never be one of those guys where he would bounce around one-year contracts because Brady's next contract will be his last contract, I would think. I think he has maybe two years left tops, um, if his, especially if his level of play continues to decline um, on that. But Ryan Tannehill re-signed with the Titans, give him a nice mega monster deal. I don't know if I would have given him a four-year deal but it shows their commitment to him, and hopefully he is just as good next season because if Ryan Tannehill is anything less than he was this year, we are in for a lot of trouble. We are in for a lot of trouble. Delaney Walker. For those of you that know, if you're a recent Titans fan, you might not know him too much. He was one of the best tight ends in football when he was on the field. The problem is, is that he's not on the field. The Titans have elected to release Delaney Walker uh, the other day, who is uh, the leader of the uh, or tight end for the Tennessee Titans. And he was one of the best tight ends in the league when he played. Problem is, is that he stopped playing. Uh, over the last couple of years, Delaney Walker has been ravaged by injuries. And the Titans also see, this is also a sign that they see a lot of potential in Jonu Smith. And I think that that's rightfully so because Jonu Smith has really, really did break out last season um, as the tight end for the Titans. And I think that... Um, you know, Delaney Walker being released, I, I don't know exactly. Um... I think he still wants to keep playing. Um, it's unfortunate he couldn't have been for the Titans, but the Titans see John U. Smith's potential, and I think that that is the right thing to do. Uh, he just keeps getting hurt, and uh, you know, you're know you going to have to make some tough cuts, especially with so many elite players that you want to bring back. Uh, we give Ryan Tannehill his deal. Uh, now we're going to see what happens with Derrick Henry. God forbid we lost Derrick Henry. That would be the end of the world there. Um, but, you know, they cut... They cut um, Delaney Walker, wish him the best. He was a great Titan, and he was a fantastic tight end. And we will see what happens because there's plenty of teams out there that could use a tight end. You know what? Why not Why not sign him to New England? Give him a one-year deal. Uh, I know they have their tight end, but, you know, it's, I, I don't think it would hurt. I could see Delaney Walker playing for the Patriots. Um, and it would be a nice addition to maybe work with Tom Brady, who's probably staying. Ryan Suckup, another person that was released. Now, this one... Speak of a trend of bad events, Ryan Suckup was one of the best kickers or more consistent kickers in football when he was healthy, and on the Titans, he never missed. The problem was is that Ryan Suckup started to get hurt, and when he came back from injury, he was never the same. Certain players are like that. Uh, NBA-related, Derrick Rose was like that. Again, you know, towards now, Derrick Rose kind of like peaked up a little bit, but he was never at that level that he was. Um, and that was kind of what I think happened with Ryan Suckup. He was never at that level of being what he was prior to his injury because he missed a lot. He missed, he missed, he missed, he missed, and the Titans released him. Um, it's unfortunate that that happens. But again, that's another cut where it's a tough one to make. The Titans are going to have to try to find a, a kicker this offseason as well. Cody Park, he's okay. Don't think he's a permanent answer. Uh, Kirio Santos was terrible. Uh, and Ryan Suckup was a great, great uh, kicker. But now they released him. Wasn't the same since after his injury. Uh, we are very fortunate to have maybe the best punter in the league in Brett Kern, who is just beyond accurate. But uh, Delaney Walker released, Ryan Suckup released, and um, Ryan Tannehill gets his massive extension. Um, I'm hopefully looking forward to next season 
as a Titans fan. Uh, it's good to see Tannehill coming back. It's well, well deserved. Again, I don't know. My only part of it is that I wouldn't have given him a four year deal worth that much money because the problem is, is that we see a lot of quarterbacks get massive deals and then completely shit the bed. Not saying Jimmy G did it, not saying Kirk Cousins did it, but they did, they weren't at maybe the level of play that they were prior to that. Okay. And that is part of my issue with it. Um, you know, we've seen, again, we've seen so many quarterbacks and just players in general. I feel like even like baseball related, Giancarlo Stanton has done nothing but ride the injury bench. Not all injuries are his fault, but he's good for some home runs on the Yankees. And that's really about it. Um, I was never a fan of that. We'll never get rid of Giancarlo Stanton because his contract's bigger than Texas. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching as always. Stay tuned.